A chance haircut paid for by a teacher sparked a big dream for 14-year-old Kyle Bambra, who had moved from Manangrida to Darwin speaking little English. She paid it out of her money and it was, went to the first, my first barber shop. It was great. And then after that experience, I wanted to be a hairdresser. Now 20 years old, Kyle has cut hair in more than a dozen territory communities. He's about to complete his hairdressing apprenticeship and has recently won an NT Young Achiever Award. I think if we go out to communities, sometimes we do a haircut for like three hours standing up. I thought it was just going to be a normal haircutting, but it was literally more than that. So that surprised me and it's like, oh yeah, I'm actually helping my community. He's part of Deadly Hair Dude, a cutting edge initiative offering apprenticeships to Indigenous people and those with special needs. He's like the Pipe Piper. When I take him out to communities, all the kids are all chasing him. He's like a celebrity. He knows better than most that a fresh haircut can also mean a fresh start, opening doors to employment in communities where jobs and hairdressers are scarce. I can get a therapy license if I wanted to, because <laughs> like haircutting is more about you talk and people loved, like, they'll tell you their secret as well. Giving kids doing it tough a cut and confidence. Jade Toomey, ABC News.